Hello everybody, welcome to the final of the Blood Bowl 3 Chalice, um, season pre-season 2. We've got Olivia Dulac versus Albachon. Um, Albachon semi-final was casted by Andri on kick, but kick don't have an option to watch games at double speed, so <laughs> didn't do the semi-final. <laughs> but uh, this is the hilariously massive uh, Black Hawk team, 2640. Unbelievable, um, unbelievable team. He's got six legend Black Oaks, a legend troll. They've all got Blodge Guard stand firm, 90 below. Unbelievable. Uh, versus Olivia Deluxe, 1950 humans, which are okay, but uh, they're certainly not as amazing as this unbelievable Black Oak team. So it'll be interesting to see, uh, you know, just how good a really, really good. Like, it's a mismatch in terms of how good the teams are from what they started as but of course um they started quite far behind uh, did the black orcs Oops. Get this. yeah that's a bit better all right oh god another blizzard <laughs> flip me <laughs> so yeah this is very cool this is all run by the community and uh it's very exciting that they were able to get anything going. But yeah, look at this. What there's about four guard here. Five guard on the humans. Versus seven Blodge Guard for Mighty Blow. But you know, inducements, seven hundred inducements. This like it's gotta be Morg, right? Has to take Morg. So Morg could definitely uh Definitely even the odds here. Unless he's got 16 players. Wait, he hasn't got 16 players, has he? Okay, Albuchan's not going to show us. But yeah, two sneaky get dirty player goblins. Two move seven goblins. And the uh, the seven legends, though. It's just unbelievable, isn't it? They're all bludge guards stand firm. Two have got defensive. Two have got tackle. Um, one's got juggernaut. One's got brawler. I think it's just because they like uh, random right at the end. I don't see Morg. Um, okay. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> is he not? Is he not taken Morg? He's got Griff. He's taken Griff and a wizard. He hasn't taken Morg. Well, who's to say if it's good or bad? <laughs> I am. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't got more. No, to be fair, right, Morg isn't that good, right? Only 30% of the knockdown versus the Bludge. The Bludge Orcs. But then also, like, he's just really good. Like, the thing is, he's not just Mighty Blood plus two, right? I remember somebody, like, saying that he wasn't very good because against dwarves, because he doesn't kill them all. And it's like... He doesn't have to kill them, does he? He's strength six. <laughs> Like, positionally, he's an absolute beast. You put Morg on two Black Orcs and they're out of the game, right? Completely. They can try and dodge away, sure. But they might fall over. I mean, Morg's, you know, Griff's decent, but Morg is really, really good. And he might pal them. And if he pals them, he might blow plus two. But really, strength six is really, 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 really good. I guess he's thinking like Griff might do some magic with a wizard and stuff. Flipping goblins. Ticks go goblins, though, so that's nice. Ooh, so the problem with going there is you really need that Black Hawk one square further back. Black Hawks are so slow. Do 
Let's just nail him with tackle and push him. <laughs> push him to oblivion. And push him to. On brawler, this one. Even the trolls blanch. <laughs> Bludge for... Oh my god. I mean, the Blackhawks are basically impossible to be punched. <laughs> they're, just, they're just amazing. <laughs> yeah, to be fair, may, maybe... Maybe... Griff wasn't that bad, eh? Like, his, his offence is just doomed to failure. <laughs> so he might as well have... Have Griff, because at least he's... <laughs> Got he's fast and got blodge. At least you can do something with it. Glorious DP SG foul. I mean, you just wall them off, don't you? Just put, you put all your Blackhawks in and fight them. It's brilliant. Oh, he's got the uh, he's got the brutal edition. Glowing hands, because that's, you know, nothing says Black Oaks like glowing hands. Punch everything first, see what happens. Wait, well, can't go for this, can he? Has he got strip? He's got wrestle. It's got a rackle. Is that Dauntless as well? I mean, there's a, oh, there's guards on both sides. You could go in for the rackle Dauntless one day. <laughs> okay, it doesn't. It splats the half thing. Much better idea. Probably should have fouled this guy. Yeah, he's gonna. Yeah, good. Dead, 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 dead. I think I would have maybe gone for the extra assist, but like he did have two with the guard. I mean, that's the thing is the guard is so good for fouling. It's ridiculous. It's actually ridiculous how good, how much of a buff is having guard work on fouls is insane. Honestly, one of the more subtle. Impact, if you like, that maybe it wasn't completely obvious. Just how transformative having guard work on fouls is. Oh, nails the sneaky get DP, but there's still another one. It's funny, isn't it? Watching somebody else's match, I'm really perturbed by the twitchy camera controls, but I don't know. No, that's not true. I watch other people. I watch other people's twitches, so... Maybe, maybe Albichon is twitchier than the average. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe his Griff against a uh, Rackle Dauntless isn't such a good bet, eh? Maybe 2D on the ball here. Yep. Killed. Yep, Morg looking a lot better than Griff right now. <laughs> oh, and the troll just just four pluses. Glorious. You could fireball these three goblins. And then score on his own offense, maybe. Oh, this is grim. This is really grim for... Olivier Dulac.
really grip the, the black horse can just keep pounding him. <laughs> he does get the hit off, but he's bludge. Watch step. Any end of turn fireballs. Yeah, that's the thing. You probably the thing is like the fireball's so bad in the implementation by cyanide of a fireball is so terrible. It really uh, makes it a lot worse than it should be. Because the other one could have got there. But... I guess this is fine. There's so few players left on the opposing team. <laughs> Makes it a three and can grab him away. Lovely. Grab is pretty, pretty flipping good sometimes, to be fair. Oh, fails the Dauntless. Rerolls the Dauntless. Oh, of course, now rerolling the Dauntless is a lot better, seeing as you've still got to reroll for the hit. Weird. Is he going to throw him? <gasps> is he going to throw him? No. Boo. No, it just puts him next to the guards and, there's, and yeah, uses the trolls of the screen. Ah, that's pretty good, actually. Oh wow, <laughs> this looks brutal. <laughs> this looks brutal for Olivier to that. <laughs> Who knew a team with seven legends on would be good? <laughs> Even the goblins have got loads of skills. Like five skills on that one, three on that one. And he gets the 1D and gets the POW! Outrageous. And catches the scatter. Glorious. That was amazing, really, to get those, those things in to get the hit. See, that's why I didn't like putting that first black oak on the Olga there, because that could have that could have been free this one. the dodge. Has to use the troll. So we're we'll risking gold stupid. Now he can, I guess. So now, now he could move the troll in, right? Because the troll's got a friend and there's still a screen. I think moving the troll in for a 2D is pretty good there. Backside, move the move the trunk to cover the backside. Actually, I think that's how exposed it is. Pushes in the pushes. Three turns left for Arbitron. Might be able to get downfield and score. It's going to be nip and tuck. Can chain his, uh, chain his goblin out here. Yep, straight in. Actually, 
glorious Grav. Grav is like pretty decent, it's just that. Like you just never want to take it. I think it's better off one being the ogre there and then trying to try and get your other black orc forward or like dodge. Like I would one D the ogre and then dodge the black orc honestly to I think it's worth it to uh out. Yeah, I really wanted that black hole forward. I, maybe they just dodged him straight up. Make once he was on there as well. Once he didn't stand firm, just straight up dodge with the black hole. Oh my god, he's really fucking twitchy, isn't he? Let's do my head in. <laughs> <laughs> this is good. Let us look at this screen for a bit. Ah. I mean, maybe it's just the camera, right? I'm not. But it's really jerky, isn't it? It's really jerky. The camera. I guess he's like using Wazda to move it forwards and backwards, so that's why it's like so jerky. Rather than a smooth rather than a smooth scroll, it's just like jerking up forward and back. Oh man, I'm getting seasick. <laughs> oh plus it's on double speed, right? But it's on double speed. Okay, that makes a lot more sense now that I think about it. It's not actually this jerky, it's double speed. Whoop, last reroll gone. Gotta lob him, gotta lob him, mate. Like, you, you can't just hope that he doesn't get powered here. Lobbing him is better than the potato, for sure. Maybe should have blitzed the scoring threat. I'll try the dodge and uh... You gotta try the dodge there. Even like blitzing the old, you still gotta try the dodge, right? He's not doing anything stood there. And Livia Dulac might have a chance of the score. So he had to uh, had to attempt the dodge. I still got the chance of the score here. Wow, not even going for the score himself, Olivier Dulac. Because that's a pretty likely score, isn't it, actually? I'm gonna try and chain the troll forward. That's what it looks like. Oh no! You could have you could have chained could have chained the troll, right? This. Uh, can I get the pause? Oh, kill someone. This black orc could have gone one, two, three, four. GFI to there, and that black orc could have uh, chained the troll. Ah, but then if you chain him closer, he's he doesn't have a friend. But he could chain him there, and then one, two, three, four. I think a double G if I had a blitz. That might be worse than just pick it up and fall. To be honest. Wow, I don't like <laughs> trying for that surf really. One in four to not score. Like it doesn't seem worth it for a, a surf. It's not. It's not worth it. It was a bit crab, you gotta just go for the score there. He was a major I think he was. I think he puffed it out this time. 
But he had to be because otherwise Olivia Dillard would have gone for the score. So Griff stays killed, I believe. And Eleven. Eleven players, no Griff. Imagine if he'd had Morg. So a successful drive for Albertron really. Might be able to win one nil. Might go to overtime. But definitely in the driving seat. I mean it's pretty good having seven legends. <laughs> Turns out. They're not they're not your average Black Hawk team. Yep. Choose. Down to ten now, the humans. And they're just constant blodge firm that you can't deal with. And constant amount of low hits. Absolutely brutal. Space all men and laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there's no screen there. Dude, you, that guy needs to be won over. Fireball's gone, so that was pretty terrible from Olivia Dacre. He used his fireball in his own drive and failed to score. So he's definitely on the ropes. I don't know what the game plan is apart from hoping uh, Morg enters the match and <laughs> gets lucky with two dice blocks. <laughs> Oops. The fireball. Hello, Glencho. Running out of time, not being able to find two dice blocks. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Have to reroll. Still get served. Maybe in future they can make a good game, but um, my money is on no. Just punch everything, can't he? Brawler everything. See what happens. Another removal. Oh, it's so good. It's just, I mean, th this. This is the absolute dream, isn't it, of Black Hawk? Seven legend players. Absolute monsters. Monster, monster team. Love that they've got the final at least. May win it. It's looking pretty good. When we did the preview, this was like the team that stood out, wasn't it? Seven legends. Amazing. Mm. I still, I still think. Olivia Dillac should have got Morg, but nah, this is this was from a few days ago, Paravale, a couple of days ago. But I mean, it still does, yeah.
Yeah, yeah, the looks didn't change much. It was just, it was just stuff for people like Art who were already were enjoying playing it. For people who weren't already enjoying it, it didn't change. All the, all the VIPs knew this, and I knew it. It's not just re readability, is it? It's just it's it's ugly. Like it's it's so ugly. It's depressing. <laughs> Like, even if I could read this pitch, it's still ugly as fuck. Like, I still wouldn't want to. You know? Like, the reconnect, reconnect's in now, you know? That's great for people who want to play games. But if you don't want to connect in the first place, reconnect isn't good, is it? <laughs> and also, reconnect isn't a good thing. It's a fucking essential thing, and it's outrageous that it wasn't already in. I tell you what, Black Horse can do some crazy chains of grabbing to make surfs, can't they? That's one good thing about them. They can actually do it when they've got seven legends on the team. Ooh, ball carries in a bit of a pickle. I guess not really. Yeah, he's got the guard there. Let's dodge for a one D, and he's got oh, he's got a dodge for a two D on the ball. This is pretty sloppy from from Albachon, has to be said. I mean, that's you know, you remove so many players. All you've got to do is keep the ball safe. Why is this at two hundred percent speed? Because Baron Bucky, there is no replay function in Blood Bowl uh, three. So this is Albachon's the vod of Albachon's stream. Because fuck knows, I'm not going to watch it at a hundred percent speed. Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> yeah, this, I mean, this makes it more bearable, right? Double speed is, is almost like watching a replay. Almost. I don't think it is better than Lux and Fumble to end, you know? I would much rather play Fumble than so would Rick and Aliad and Dimmy and Nick and... I think you know, but like the the th the problem is that they've got the quality of life and brooms to make as well as it being ugly, right? And like, and it, it being you know horrible to control and no sound and all of the millions of problems with it. It's like maybe this is right to like appease the people who can play it first, right? Like that's maybe the best thing. But then how are they gonna how are they gonna fix all the rest? I just don't see that they do. And you know they might not want to. Which they probably shouldn't because there's probably no money in it. <laughs> Is this the juggernaut one? No. This stand firm guy has been an absolute monster, tanked everything. I'll tell you what, that was a bit rubbish by Albichon to get in the situation. Really was a bit rubbish to get in this spot. So many players up. So much of a better team. Do you think they'll go into? I think the money is in fucking give up and drop it. Stop throwing your money down the fucking toilet is where I think the money is. From their point of view, I think they should just pull the plug completely. Just fucking write it off. Like it's fucking it's fucking done. Like it's gonna You know, they've gotta basically make a whole new game, right? Well hey, Halfling's got the ball. Oh, could he sir he could have surfed him there. Pretty sure, but hasn't. Mm 
but just punch things. Punch, punch, punch. Bang, bang, bang. And everything will probably work out. Cheeky cars. Yeah, blitzing, blitzing yourself free is pretty good, isn't it? Ball in the crowd in the back there. Well, I mean, they could turn the brightness up, right? <laughs> they could turn the brightness up. Like, why does this look like, why does this look like a night match? Like, what? The, how? Fucking how do you make this game this bad? It's unbelievable. They could just take out all of the pure white and replace it with not pure white. Which looks worse because everything else is so dark. Like, they could do all of that, right? Like, they could, they could change a lot of things pretty easily, but they've just shown no desire to in 20 fucking months. So, well, probably two years. They've shown no desire to change any of this fucking awful shit. And then all these dickheads are still like, Oh, I hope it'll be good next season too. Fuck off, will it be good? It's fucked. The game is fucked. It's fucking dead. And you're a fucking idiot if you think there's any hope of it ever being anything except absolute fucking dog shit forever. There you go. That's my... That's, you know... Nice subtle take on it. No apologies to Cyanide though, or Nacon or whatever. I'm fucking sad as fuck about it by the way. It's not like I'm fucking over the moon that it's failed. I'm fucking gutted. It's terrible. It's fucking terrible. I'm really sad. I'm like, I'm really sad that they've killed my favourite game. And there's a bunch of dickheads who act like I wanted it to fail or something. Like, what the fuck? I mean, I know there's, they're idiots. Like, you know, fair enough, but still. I can't reiterate enough how much, how gutted I am that it's shit. And how I wanted it to be a success much more than any of the devs wanted it to be a success, that's for sure. Well, there you go. I guess there's a chance of a one turn, isn't there? There is a chance of a one turn here. Either a uh, thrown halfling. Yep, there's a halfling. And maybe the catchers. So it's not over. Don't say it's over. I don't think the humans will win over time. But then maybe if they win the toss and throw another halfling, so there is a chance. Oh yeah, of course he's got stand firm on everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's got literally everyone has stand firm. So um, yeah, you can throw the you can throw the half. In. Of course, if he'd had Morgan Thorg, he'd have better odds um, of throw teammate because of his special rule. Oh no, wait, um, Cyanide didn't bother coding any of the special rules for star players. But you know, the most important thing was adherence to tabletop, which is why you have to declare actions. And it's funny because the like the declare actions is such is such a fundamentally terrible decision for a video game, monumentally terrible. But it pales into insignificance compared to how fuck ugly the game is. <laughs> oh, Griff can hand off. Yes. <laughs> Oh, it failed. Failed the catch. It's over. Well, there you go. What a great... What a great... Um, team to win, honestly. Like, 
<laughs> to be fair, I wanted, I wanted, I wanted. In my unbiased opinion, after we did the uh, the preview, I wanted Albachon's ridiculous black old team to win, and uh, I think he showed it at the start of his stream here. There it is. I mean, it's crazy, right? Seven legends. Seven legends is unbelievable. And then even the normal goblins have got like, what? One, two, three, four, five skills. Two of them with five skills, one with four. But yeah, seven legends. It's an unbelievable team. Like, it's hilarious. Two, six, forty. You know, obviously it would never be possible with a uh, redraft or anything. But um, incredible with for the format. It's just unbelievable. Oh, this, this goblin's a legend because he's got movement. A legend goblin. <laughs> <laughs> a legend goblin and two level six goblins as well as seven so eight legends on his team unbelievable and so there you go commiserations Olivia Dulac congratulations Albachon amazing I'm, I'm glad that the best team won the whole thing honestly it's just funny and mental and there you go uh, he gets he gets 2,000 warp stone and uh, you know big thanks to everyone from the community who ran this tournament you know they made they really did make a uh, make something out of the absolute horrendous game that cyanide gave us so there you go thanks for watching everyone don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic